In today's world, video sells, but not just videos because we're oversaturated with video content, but compelling videos that hit the target audience and resonate with the viewer on an emotional level. 54% of consumers demand more videos from brands and companies they support. Video is the most favored type of content on social media platforms. A survey conducted by Wise Owl shows that nearly 8 out of 10 users have purchased a piece of software or application after having watched a brand's video. I can list hundreds of statistics, but they all point toward the same fact that video is not only here to stay, but to remain relevant as a content creator, a graphic designer, a web developer, anyone who deals with digital content, you need to somehow be involved in video-based media. You can have a static Instagram ad, or you can have one that's in motion. Which one do you think is more effective when quickly scrolling down your feed? Motion demands attention, but can also give the viewer an additional visual story told through animation, motion, and movement. This lesson will introduce you to some things we need to be aware of if we want to craft compelling stories that sell products, engage our viewers, and connect with our audiences with video, whether it be on a website landing page, a social media paid ad, an animated logo, a brand asset, or your own video-based channel. Understanding who your target viewer will be can make huge impacts on how successful your video clip is. For instance, knowing that your target audience may skew younger, be mostly male, or if you're promoting a new body spray or cream that's targeted toward gym goers might change the speed and the type of animation you use. Your typography might be thicker, bold, quickly come and go off the screen, and may even flash, distort, or flicker. What if your target viewer is a technical person looking to automate a business activity? Showing sophisticated users more software flow and animation can really help drive click-throughs to landing pages that can continue that sales process for you or your client. Never lose sight of the end goal for any video. No matter the length, you should have one single focus. Will your video goal be educating the viewer about a service or product? Will it be to drive sales to a landing page? Or could it be to drive engagement with viewers with an emotional drive? This is your main focus for your entire video, and staying close to this goal throughout will help you craft videos that are cohesive, work, and convert. Motion and video can play huge roles in how we engage with content. Motion that is slower and more smooth can get off, give off calm vibes, when something that is choppy and fast can give a viewer a sense of urgency and become alive. It's up to you to control the speed of the video, the pacing, and the delivery. For instance, this choppy animation style in the Starbucks ad gives it a more youthful, playful feeling. Not everything has to be silky smooth and fast to do well on online videos. This could have easily be created with Photoshop using just a GIF. A smooth, slower paced animation with lots of easing in and easing out effects can make an ad appear high end. As in this example of a Facebook cover photo, the animation used here uses a lot of this easing in and easing out effect to slowly move the graphics and photos into place without any jerking motion or flat motion. These ease in, ease out effects can easily be applied as default options in most video editing programs. And in Adobe After Effects, you have a very fine control of this easing effect of graphic elements on screen by using a graphic editor. You can see something that does not have this ease in, ease out effect and compare it to a transition that does have this easing effect. Kind of a big difference, huh? So the speed of the animation is important in showing our style and connecting with our target viewer, but also the length of the video clip as well. You just have a few seconds to grab a viewer and how you craft your video will determine how long they stay and finish up the entire video. The longer your motion and animation, take for instance this software ad, the more you have to do to keep the viewer's eyeballs on the video. Notice the constant animation that's happening? This is an attempt to keep your attention on the ad. Having a wonderful pace to your animation at the start of your ad is great, but you need to continue to follow through if you plan on making your videos longer than 10 seconds. 
Videos shorter than 10 seconds are a bit easier to manage, but gives you less time to explain your business or product. That's why videos that are more short in length or short form need to focus on driving the user to click through to the next stage of the sales process. That may be a landing page or a purchase now button. Shorter videos are less about educating the viewer on a product and more about teasing the viewer with the product. Longer videos tend to be more educational in style, maybe even guide the viewer on how to use the product. We are seeing how knowing our target viewer, knowing how long to make our videos, and also the pacing of the animation could be big factors in how successful our videos are. But let's give even more detail about how to use typography, color, layout to create a nice balance between elements in our videos. Some of the same principles of design and graphic design can be applied to motion video. Concepts like font pairing, typography, color schemes, and layout are all critical factors. Typography in motion videos is something truly to behold. Type can slide in, disappear and reappear, fade in and out, replace each other, or even take up the whole screen. Using a similar typeface choice throughout your motion video can help it stay branded and consistent. The same rules apply to static ads or fixed ads as the same two motion videos as well. If you use multiple typefaces or fonts in one video, make sure they pair well together and use enough contrast between your typeface choices, like one being bold and another one being thinner, or one being a serif typeface and another being a sans serif typeface. Typography or type can easily overwhelm a motion video. Never present so many long phrases in too short a time period. Watch your video multiple times to make sure you can read out loud all of the vital text. This is one aspect we don't have to worry about with static graphics. This time with motion, we have to worry about the pacing here. Well-written type or copy is useless if the viewer cannot easily read and digest the typography. Readability here is key and you don't want to cause reader exhaustion by the end of a long video, for example. Great motion typography can be seen in animated logo examples. Take for instance this one. The timing of when you bring in some letters over others and what transitions you use all play a part of the overall brand presentation and feel. Never take too long to animate a logo. If it takes over eight seconds to fully bring in a logo, that might be too much time for the viewer to spend idle watching it. A two to five second animation for a logo seems to be a great average time for most brands and ad video intros and outros. Take for instance, this animated logo. We have this triangle spinning in, a little bounce action to add a little subtle movement and a glare effect to finish it off. All of these are small, quick actions that do not take away from the brand readability of the logo. It is legible right away or within a second or two and is effective in introducing the company brand before in a long form or short form video. Motion typography can help characters come to life. Motion typography can also be called kinetic typography. Notice how mesmerizing this form of animation is and it's, that's exactly the point. We can stare at this for several minutes and still be entertained. This is the type of fast attention grabbing elements we want to have in our social media ads, video ads, GIFs, and more. This type of animation is highly effective at driving traffic and users to click more about a project or service or just to grab their attention. Because of this irresistibility and attention grabbing qualities, you may see motion videos spilling into shorter clips on social media where animated posters have started to take over. Designers can take their static posters, add a bit of motion to transform them into interactive pieces that can go viral and rack up new followers. I think the future of design will slowly gravitate toward movement and animation and designs we create for brands and for ourselves. Learning motion programs like After Effects can be helpful to land future jobs that require these specific set of skills. Static design is not going anywhere, but the future is in movement.
Want to study some of the latest motion videos used in social media? You can check out your Instagram feed for video ads and study how they craft them, paste them, and use typography. Or you can head over to facebook.com slash ads slash library to access all the current mobile ads being run. And several of them are motion videos.